Now, Britain's Princess of Wales has apologised after several major news agencies withdrew a family photo saying it appeared to have been manipulated. Princess Catherine said she tried to edit the image and was sorry for any confusion. The royal family published the picture on Mother's Day in the United Kingdom. There has been weeks of speculation about the princess's whereabouts following surgery in January. Let's have a look at this with uh, Andrew Pearsall, who is a professional photographer who also lectures in journalism at the University of South Wales in the UK. Uh, welcome to DW. So there's been this Good row evening. over this apparently doctored uh, image. Does it really matter if it was or it wasn't? Well, I suppose it's it doesn't really matter in terms of, from a point of view, as a family photograph. Um, this is Kate, obviously Mother's Day, showing off um, a wonderful... Uh, family picture of herself but the problem that this has sort of generated is the fact that she has submitted this to a photo agency and all of these agencies are sort of they are um, manipulate or they are they, they have to be controlled through editorial guidelines and through ethical codes of practice and so that's the issue in the fact that you cannot submit anything which has been manipulated into a photo agency because of mistrust in the media to, towards the public. Right, so uh, it would have been one thing if she'd have, uh, uh, she'd have posted this to social media, quite another to, to submit yes. it to a journalistic agency and said, there, that's it. Yes, because they have these ethical codes of conduct. We have in the UK here, we have IPSO, um, we have the BPPA's Guide of, um, of Conduct, we have the NUJ, and all of these agencies across the world have to sort of abide by these regulations. We are a regulated industry. You know, we are supposed to, to uh, uh, tell truth and accuracy as much as we can. And when uh, the PR press organizations try to submit something which has been manipulated, that goes against those rules. And that's, that's why it was given the, the kill order, which sounds quite, you know, it sounds quite harsh, but um, that basically means that all distribution of that image cannot go ahead because of those manipulations. I mean, if you look close, it's not, it's not that difficult to see those manipulations if you, if you look at various elements of um, Charlotte's hand. And if you look just behind um, um, Louis's uh, knee, you can actually see very, very obvious manipulations, which really can't go ahead in the world of photojournalism. Okay, you say it's obvious, but it was out there. It had been published uh, uh, before somebody picked it up. So, it, and, it, and it does seem as though it took somebody looking very, very closely and say, oh, what's that? Why has why she got a, a funny wrist before someone said, oh, wait. So are we now in this era of artificial intelligence, should we now be looking to automatically check every photo that, that crosses a, a, a photo editor's desk? Oh, very much so. And that's what um, organisations like Adobe and AP are trying to do. They're, and the BBC, they're, they're looking at using now AI to detect these. Because imagine a, a, a picture editor's desk, and a number of my students are now photo editors uh, in major organisations, and they have thousands of pictures coming through every hour, and they can't vet every single photograph. And that is why we have the public. The public will spot these images, and then they will um, they will bring that to the attention of those picture editors, those agencies, and they will be taken down and given that kill order. Now, hopefully, AI will be used in a much more positive way in the photo press industry to spot these, these issues, these mistakes that are coming through. Okay, so we see this this action by Kate and or uh, the the palace. This is this is a mistake rather than deliberate deception. Most definitely, um, you've got to think that you know it's she's trying to have an, a lovely day with her with her family, and she's given William the opportunity to take some photographs. I know that Kate is an enthusiastic photographer. She's then taken the best of a selection of images and tried to bring them together. Now there are. Worryingly, applications out there, Google Pixel phone, um, you can now use AI to manipulate images. You can choose the best face and the best the best positions, and then that will then sort of give you the, the, the best composite. Now, that's quite worrying, especially for press. Less so for your family pictures or for your skateboarding okay. shots. There are still some issues. Thank you so much for talking us through that so clearly. Andrew Pearsall from the University of South Wales. Thank you.